Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite and today's video we are going to be laser focusing in on Bitcoin. There is some news in the USA of all places that Bitcoin may become legal tender. Yes, that's pretty exciting to hear. And also the EU just passed some regulation that is very Bitcoin friendly as well. And then lastly, there's two good news stories and then one bad news story. This one has to do with Robinhood. Following up on my video yesterday, it was hacked and there is a tweet that went out and we will cover that one. Before that, let's check out the overall portfolio. As you can see, I've made it up to 17,000 now, up from 16,000 last video. And it's all because there once again was another spike in price. I'm not exactly sure what is causing this spike in price, but it is causing Bitcoin as well as all the altcoins to rise substantially. Good problems and bad problems at the same time because I'm trying to average into one BTC so that is just making it a little bit harder. But as you can see right now, if you're new to the channel, my portfolio consists of Bitcoin, trying to average in DCA every single day. I'm at about 0.43 Bitcoin with the average buy price of 25,000, which is kind of exciting because that is more or less very close to where the price of Bitcoin is right now. And as you can see, I'm only down 10% for BTC and that is really good. I'm actually very happy to see that. I have Ethereum as well, Theta, which I am going to unstake very soon and then more than likely get rid of that and it'll transition to USDC, Cardano, and Theta Drop, which there is going to be a free airdrop coming up very, very soon. And that's why I'm still holding on to my Theta stake. So let's dig into the overall news. The first bit of news, if you didn't hear it, has to do with Arizona and Bitcoin. So Arizona Senator introduces bill to make Bitcoin legal tender in the state. And that would be very, very interesting to make Bitcoin a legal tender in one state in the entire U.S. I think if one state did it, then other states would follow suit. And that would be very, very bullish for the overall crypto industry. So this has to do with Senator Wendy Rogers of Arizona introduced a set of bills aimed to making Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona. And that would make state agencies accept Bitcoin for debt, taxes, other financial obligations, and they would have the option or individuals and businesses would have the option to use Bitcoin as they see fit. And not to say that this bill will pass. This is the second time that this uh, bill similar to this has been trying to go through the legislation, but I really don't think it will pass. There, there's slim chances of the bill passing at this time, but it is nice to see at very least that states in the US of A, they are trying to stuff some crypto friendly regulation in there. So maybe over time, much like the medical marijuana, initially there was a lot of pushback, but in time medical marijuana has been Prove through a whole bunch of different states and maybe federally it might be approved as well. So maybe crypto might be very similar to that in which it's just state by state, uh, individual by individual, it gets approved and then federally it might get approved. So that was the first bit. Arizona also is looking to pass a bill to allow voters voters to decide whether virtual currency is tax exempt as part of the November 2024 ballot measure, which also is very, very positive for crypto. So that was what's happening in the USA. If we head over to Europe, there's also more good news. So the EU votes to allow banks to hold about 2% of capital in Bitcoin and crypto. So the banks in Europe are going to be allowed to hold cryptocurrency, which is very, very interesting. And the EU parliament yesterday approved this new banking re regulation. So in doing so, it's following the rules set by the Bank of International Settlements, or if you want to look at it, this is the OG bank, the, the Bank of Banks. They make up the rules, and as soon as they made up that rule, I think they made this rule up about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, and now it's being implemented in Europe. And they're going to allow two different groups. One, group one is more or less stable coins. Group two is kind of like your Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other crypto assets. And the way that banks have to do it is they have to have a risk weight of 1,250%. So that means that the European banks must hold more than one euro of free capital for every euro of cryptocurrency. So that is their way of mitigating any risk with this cryptocurrency. All in all, very good news. 
Last bit of news has to do with Robinhood. Unfortunately, there was a hack that happened yesterday when this recording goes live, and you can see some hacker logged into Robinhood's Twitter and they posted about a new Robinhood token. They wanted you to go over there, purchase it, and turns out it was just a hacker who was doing that and they were promoting their scam. So it was an unknown group or individual has hacked the Twitter account behind Robinhood to push their new token. And Robinhood has about 1.1 million followers. So I do hope that no one actually fell for this scam. Uh, just keep an eye out for scam. I know people were setting off alarms as soon as this happened, so hopefully this scam did not go anywhere. But circling back to the cryptocurrency price, as we know, the price of crypto has been going up and down. I am taking this time to buy cryptos that I think are going to 5 to 10x in the next bull cycle. If you want to follow along with my journey over there, I do have a Patreon link in the description below. If not, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you on the next one.